time. I right, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Kadosh. That is the name of the Heavenly Father, the name of His only begotten Son, who wrote Bigly calls uh, God and Jesus Christ and the uh, Holy Spirit. And Allah Shalom Kadosh. We want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS, peace, love, and salutations to the Bayat Dawa Dawa, the House of David. All right, so portion of GMS Boston uh, camp coming again with our weekly address. And Lord willing, we just gonna enroll in the Spirit. You know, as the watchman, it's our job to be on the tower uh, and, and watch, all right, for the nation of Israel, all right, to watch for our people, all right, and when we see that, that, that watch for the dangerous mints, and when we see it coming, our job is to do what? To blow the trumpet, and this is the trumpet being blown, all right, this is that trumpet that's talked about in Isaiah, the 58 chapter, all right, and we're the watchmen that's on the towers waiting for the adversary, the enemy. Go ahead. Uh, Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Yep. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Go ahead. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. Go ahead. And when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Yeah, so what are we watching for, right? We're watching for uh, the RFID microchip, all right, what we know to be as what? The MOTB, the mark of the beast, right? That's right. We're watching for these jump shots that Esau is trying to implement in your, your, your hands to do, uh, your arms to do what? Uh, to control you, you know? We're watching for a prophecy. We're watching the docks. We, we're watching the empty shipment containers. We're watching uh, uh, race wars, race relationships in America. We're watching for the Third World War that's growing up. We're watching the U.S. military. We're watching the Russian military. We're watching the Chinese military, right? What else are we watching for? We're watching for uh, 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 chariots, uh, uh, chariots man. Uh, we're watching for snakes. You know, we're watching for people trying to creep in unawares, right? We're watching for, uh, what else are we watching for, brothers? Uh, false doctrines. And not only we watching for them, but we marking them. Right? We're putting a scope on them to let, let the congregation know, look, to stay away from these men because they're trying to do what? They're trying to lead the sheep astray, whether it's intentionally or unintentionally, uh, whether you're trying to uh, make merchandise of the Heavenly Father or trying to be popular, whatever it is. That's our job to, to watch. Go ahead, Karab. Real quick, there's an old saying in the world. Uh, they, they, they used to call the world the world theater. You know, because that's exactly what this is. It's a big, giant, conglomerate movie. You know, all throughout the world, there's different things going on. And, and a lot of uh, the, the American people have a, a, a single eye to, uh, towards uh, folly. You know, they have a single eye towards folly because they don't concern themselves with what's going on abroad. You know, they only concern themselves with what they see in the TV. You know, maybe go to your baseball game, maybe your football game, you know, your Sunday night football. That's all they're concerned with. But, Whatever happens abroad in the world here is is definitely definitely will affect America. This is Habakkuk two and verse one. Yep. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he was saying to me. Right, because the, the prophets were what they were called the uh, seers. The seers, right? And the seers, the hood of the sea sun, you gotta have what vision, like the scriptures say. You know, whether it was in the heavenly father. See, Yahweh spoke to the old prophets in the old time about. Uh, 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 personally, right? But as scripture say in the latter days, he talked to his son, Yahweh Shai. And what you're dealing with the disciples, a disciple is a, what, a follower of Yahweh Shai. And then after the departure of Yahweh Shai, they became what? The uh, apostles, which means he be sent away to teach. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the apostles and the brothers in GMS, which are what? The prophets or the seers, where the brother, the brother Yakalam, you know, he gets uh, these heavy dreams, and not just him, but uh, other brothers. That's what, that's what Yakalam means. He dreams. You get dreams and then you you, you you put them out there, all right, you upload them to the internet, which are what, modern day epistles to reach different churches in different areas, all right? So this is what's happening, you know? Go ahead, bro. It says, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Go ahead. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that reading. Yeah, the vision. Go ahead. Uh, real quick, I want to grab the definition for um, when it says uh, that he may run, right? Yep. And it says, uh, this is in... Um, which, uh, the blue letter mm -hmm. it says uh, to run to run to run swiftly it says to bring or move quickly hurry to drive away from cars to run away and the scripture says also uh, flee uh, what is it haste to flee from these times oh. alright because what you're, you're paying attention to what's going on in the world and you see that it's starting to get chaotic Beautiful. Beautiful. it's starting to get bad so what do you want to do you want to get yourself prepared mm -hmm. to the time like Beautiful. what is it um, arising in the proper this is not your rest you got to get right. your mindset out of the ways of the world Turn back the Abba Shinar Shah. That's beautiful because you read earlier, right? Um, 
Watchmen. Yeah, about mm-hmm. being on the Watchmen. You know what I'm saying? And then it, 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 it always that always reminds me of the story of uh, Paul Revere. When um, Paul Revere, yeah, he saw the average search, which at that time was the British Empire. The Red Coats? Right. He saw the Red Coats. When he saw them coming, what did he do? They call it the, what, the Midnight Ride. He got on his horse and he, 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 he was moving swiftly to go through the towns to warn people to get the armies ready, to get the troops ready, to, so that the women can hide, so that you know they could be prepared for the invasion that is to come. And really through the spirit, that's what we're preparing for. We're preparing for an invasion in, in on the house of Israel, right? And it's coming in different forms. It's not just, that sword is not just a military, although they are gonna implement martial law and they're gonna put the troops in, but that invasion could come in the form of a needle. It could come in the form of a, 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 a concentration camp, all right? It could come in the form of different things. And also, um, I tell you, I got something real quick. Yeah, to Go add to that, is the Proverbs fourteen and fifteen that says, "The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going." Right. What does prudent mean? Wise. Wise. Wise man. I got one real quick. So yeah. Proverbs twenty two and three: For prudent men foresee of the evil and hide it from self, but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, a prudent man see the evil. What's the definition uh, of prudent? Prudent, uh, acting with or showing care and thought. For the future. Yeah, now when we was having our conversation earlier, we was going into how basically and the brother Debar brought it up how the men of the Lord, we show care for things that the average person might necessarily give a fuck about. We was talking about that earlier. Like these people don't really care about what's going on. Not just all right, um, not just in, in their personal lives, meaning they move careless, but worldwide events, they don't understand that worldwide events shape directly uh, uh, their lives directly. Walmart is be able to go to Walmart because China sells. Uh, uh, what's that? What's the Walmart family? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, Walmart China sells them in wholesale in bulk at low prices. But once you know, what I'm saying these ships stop coming over here, you're not gonna be able to go do these things. So things that happen and the prices of rice. People just that saying, what does that have to do with the prices of rice in China? Everything, because the prices over there and what's shipped out over here in these docks. It's gonna directly if the trucking industry. If the truck goes on, trucking industry goes on strike. Mm-hmm. That directly affects you. If the gas goes up, right, and the truckers aren't able to uh, pay for that gas, they go on strike. If the police force decide that they don't want to take that 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 jump shot and and they resign, that's directly gonna affect you. Yeah, yeah man. If I may add, that's happening in the UK right now. Um, that are ninety percent of their gas, um, their um, petrol's gone. And close to a hundred thousand truckers are going to be out of work. Mm. So it's just oh, that, that, that affects the uh, food yeah. industry, and all kind of industry. A domino effect, and that's that coincides with the scriptures, man. Uh, second Ezra the fifteenth chapter. I'll get to you, one brother. Uh, just some synonyms for prudent. Yep. Um, uh, sage, well advised, uh, careful. Yeah. Well, and, and now, because in order to be a prophet, you got to be what? You got to be well advised, man. Right. You got to be studious. You got to study. You got to look into these Ooh. things. You got to be a so-called conspiracy theorist because right. you got to be willing to look into it, but also you got to be, you got to have the wisdom, you got to be, have the wisdom to filter it with the scriptures. Yeah, discernment, no, the discernment, discernment as well. Discernment is a big thing you got to have. You got to have discernment because right. without discern, without discernment, bro, you ain't going to make it. You're not going to make it, man. Like, this is about to be obstacles that's about to be in your way. You got to learn how to navigate through them, how to hurl over them, how to jump, how to make decisions. How to trust people, not to trust people. Who you rocking with? Who you not rocking with? That takes discernment. Uh, circumspect. Hold on, hold on, bro. Let, let him go real quick. Uh, it says circumspect. Oh, circumspect. circumspect. What's circumspect mean? But I also got the scripture as well. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, go ahead, bro. Ephesians 5, verse 15. Go ahead. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Yep. Not as fools, but as wise, yep. redeeming the time because the days are evil. Right. The opposite of a fool is what? Is wise. And what's circumspect? Circum means it's a 360. That means an owl. An owl is, is a wise animal. It's a considered a wise animal. An owl could be standing this way and be looking in the back of his head. Mm-hmm. The eyes in the back of his head. So circum means to be around, inspect, to see. As a spectator, you're a watcher. All right? As a, as a tower, the reason why the tower is up high, it's high, all right? But you get what? A bird's eye view. And when you look at things spiritual, that's ultimately what you're doing. When you look at the world with a bird's eye view, you're thinking spiritually. Why? Because you're thinking, you're thinking of the bigger picture. That's the I, that's the whole thing of thinking spiritually, man. It's looking at the bigger picture, understanding that the Most High has a plan. He has a movie that he's written out, and and, and we know through the Spirit the end of the movie. So we're circumspect. I got a precept. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Matthew ten and sixteen. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. 
be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Yeah, now serpent, now there's, there's levels of, of this wisdom. Oh, the Gabar uh, goes into it, you know? Yeah, but yeah, the, uh, uh, the, you got a mockingbird. All right, somebody's going to listen to this word and they just going to repeat it. It's not going to stick. A mockingbird ain't really smart. He just, okay. you can't really communicate with a mockingbird. It's just a, it's just, repeat, it's it's just gonna repeat anything you say. It's parrot. You know, a parrot. A parrot, it's uh, the water broke. Um, a parrot is just gonna repeat what you say. Then you got a level to you got an owl, all right, but the ultimate level to be is a what? A dragon. But it goes to what? A serpent is 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 gonna stalk its prey down, man. You ain't you ain't gonna know a serpent ran upon you until you get bit. That's why they had that saying in the world, uh keep the grass cut so yeah. you can see the snakes, man. Okay, but to be wise as a serpent, you gotta have what? Discernment, Discernment man. Right. You gotta be able to and and what? The a reptile is within that within, is within that class. You know what I'm saying? An iguana is able to blend in chameleon. a chameleon. chameleon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, these animals are, are, are naturally given abilities to blend in with the habitat. Yeah. But you gotta be able to do that. You can't be fucking brute everywhere you go. You can't be fucking in your house talking about oh, Israelite man, bitch, da da da. You can't be like that. Because this this woman, this kingdom belongs to her. You you ain't gonna go to work and be talking about yeah, Esau, you going into slavery. That nah. You're gonna go to work and you're gonna try to be the best worker you could be. You're gonna be circumspect. When you're dealing with women, when you're dealing with Esau, when you're dealing with people in the world, when you're dealing with your girl, when you're dealing with your kids, when you're dealing with everybody. You gotta be circuit, you gotta use wisdom. Paul said, I became all things to all men, man. To the to the barbarians. What the fuck is the point of being proper to a goddamn barbarian? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta scoop down to their level. Yeah. You, you not smart by going to a fucking kindergarten class and trying to teach them algebra. <laughs> you a fool, and that's what that's what brothers, unfortunately, they try to do that. They try to go to uh, algebra, uh, kindergarten class teaching algebra. Or telling a baby not to cry, man. Or, 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 or even better, yeah, telling, trying to feed a, feed a you don't try to feed a baby steak because you got enough wisdom. though he needs teeth. He needs to digest it. His body's not built for that. You give him milk. Wisdom and discernment are, are, are the same thing. Yeah. You know, you know the ability, wisdom and knowledge is is two different things. But wisdom is the ability to know what to do with that knowledge, man. Right. Yeah. And to choose to make the right choice, make the right decision. That's right. that's that's wise. And, right. you know? and that's what it says in the scriptures, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our times. Come We're here on. to prepare you that the times that are coming, that are barking on us, Come is going to be evil times, Come tribulation. Yeah. And if you got to have this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, ultimately the fear of the Lord to guide you and maneuver and right. keep you safe through right. this path. Like, <laughs> like wisdom will tell you, if you see a mob, right? You know, it's all hell breaking loose. You see a mob. Wisdom will tell you not to join the mob, but go the other way. That's yeah. wisdom. Yeah. That's right. You don't run discern. towards it. That's right. 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 You gotta judge left or right, big or small. Should I go home or should I should I go should I, should I do this or should I do you making judgments, man? We're judges, we're building ourselves up to be the ultimate judges, man. That's right. You know? Yeah, that's why I hate that saying, don't be judgmental. If you if you don't don't be judgmental, then you're an idiot. But the, re the the reason why I said it is because mm -hmm. people don't wanna be held accountable. Exactly. They wanna exactly. do whatever the fuck they want. So they don't want nobody to point the fingers at them. That's why they say only God could judge me now, right? Because they believe that the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, 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 allows all the shit. The Heavenly Father is a worse judge than man. Yeah. He will, he will, man, you, see, man, man will do one thing, but the Heavenly Father, he drowned a whole world just because of, of wickedness. So imagine what he could do to you. He knows your worst fears. He knows, he, he scripture to say he knows, uh, right, your thought. He knows how many hairs are in your head. He's a worse judge than man. So, you know, and, 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 and granted, right, the Heavenly Father puts the spirit on men. Right, to, to, to give you the warning first before the hammer drops. You see, but the reason why people in this world love that phrase and saying is because they they love that 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 uh, that lifestyle. They love their lives. They love to do whatever the hell they want. They don't want accountability for nothing. I'm glad you said that too, bro. Because the heavenly Father will put the spirit on a man. All right, because they say Yahweh talked to his prophets, and and back in the day, now he spoke to his son, and now it's the, the apostles. But that's how the Heavenly Father is going to do it. Heavenly Father ain't going to come down here and tell you what to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? He I, gonna... mean, I mean, I was going to say he can come, but it, it, it's, it's going to be in the way of a, a bullet. Yeah. It's going to be in the way of a destruction. Uh, 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 some, some type of shit that you're afraid of to die of, man. Drowning, 
Uh, you know, that's what his name is. He's like, he exists. He'll pay, he'll pay you a visit, all right. But, you know, but he warns you first. He sends his men first before he comes and do your damage, bro. That's how he works. Someone get that scripture? Um, Hebrews 10 and 31. Go ahead, Tyler. Just a second. Go ahead, you got it, Tyler. That's second Ezra is 61. I mean, six, second Ezra is 8 and 61. It says, and therefore is my judgment now at hand. Mm -hmm. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. Then answer I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of thy wonders, which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not shown me. Hold that right there. They say, I have shown these to everybody, but I only showed these to a few men. All right, now when the disciples went to Yahweh's side and they said, Damn, Lord, why are you speaking to them in parables? And the Lord told them, Look, man, what you got for me, bro? Amos 3 and 7. I can hold that real quick. The Lord told them, the Lord, yep, yep. the Lord told them, Look, this thing isn't given to all men, man. So, you brothers and a few sisters that tune into this thing, you know, when the scriptures say, He that have ears to hear, let them hear, that's not really talking about physical ears because these people could hear. Uh, what we saying, but you gotta have a spiritual eye and a spiritual a spiritual eye to see and a spiritual ear to hear what the prophet is saying. Give me what you got real quick, bro. It's on a Matthew ten verse uh ten thirteen and ten. Okay, go ahead. And Start disciple, nine, bro. Start Start right? Matthew thirteen verse nine. And then go back to Hebrews. Yeah. Who had ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him. You see, there he goes again. See, when I was thinking of he have ears to hear, let him hear, I was thinking of um Revelation. Well, also it says, he that hears his, his hear, let him hear. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yep. Go ahead, bro. And the disciples came unto him. Why speakest unto them in parables? Why, why are you speaking to them in parables and dark sayings and uh, what do you call it? Allegories or um, there's other words for it too. Metaphor, um, metaphor, metaphors. Metaphors. Right? Yeah. Yep. Go ahead, bro. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? And, and he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, but it is given to you. Give me Amos real quick. This is Amos 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto the unto his service the prophet. Now mystery is synonymous with um with a, a secret, man. Something that's a secret, all right, uh, only a few know. But something that's a mystery, only a few know. A mystery is something that can be f f figured out, but you gotta be given the tools and, and the keys. In order to uh, 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 figure this this thing out, go ahead, brother. Yeah, this is from the Karma Board GMS Spiritual Arc One Forty Four K. First, on, on. First Corinthians six and two. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world, and if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? Yes. If, yeah, go ahead, brother. Stop. Go ahead. No. Nope, yeah. Um. If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are at least esteemed in the church. Yeah, it's all like a practice run, right? Being here. Think about the think about how, how bad the most high is, because he's saying, I, I, I'm gonna make this wicked, satanic, demonic, dark world, right? And and, and, and the men that, that has the ability to uh, 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 fight war that off and to, to make righteous judgment. And that's even pondering my judgments and meditating on my statues and, 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 and rehearsing the righteous acts. Those are the men that I'm going to choose out of that, that dark world and make them a candle of light to set them up in the next world to be to be the ultimate judges and rulers. You, you, if you've made it through this, you've uh, su surpassed the ultimate test, man. And it's the ultimate blessing of the temptation. Now, when we talk about the hour of temptation, you know, these men, we could be through the spirit, we say it humbly, we could be out here doing any goddamn thing. Just a part of the rest of the world, just wilding the hell out. In America, you could do whatever the hell you want to do. You could smoke whatever you want to smoke. You could go to the hospital and get you some uh, 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 methamphetamines. You could see whatever the hell you want to see with. Eat whatever you want. You could eat whatever the hell you want to eat. You could marry whatever you want to marry. There's a video, This somebody married a tree. There's a video of a guy that married his car. He goes to the car, he's fucking bugged out. He goes, he sleeps with the car, he gets erected, he gets off by a car. You can do whatever the hell you want here. You can change marry your sex. dog. You can change your sex. The changes, you can, yeah. hey, you can be whatever gender you want. You can identify as nothing. I, I was giving this girl a ride, and she was talking about how the, 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 this couple came and they had a baby, and they wanted to refer to the baby as it. 
because they they want the baby to have a, a, a gender. They want to, to decide, and she kept on referring to it like he, you know what I'm saying? And the lady was like, damn, they're spaz. I want to bug the hell out. You know, this is the world that we live in. You could be anything, but if you could, if you could maintain, if you could uh, hunker down, if you could set your feet as pillars, and you could be as that trunk, that that palm tree that doesn't break during the storm, the Heavenly Father will see you fit to be a, a judge in the kingdom to come. This is coming from the common board, 1 Peter 4 and 6. Who's, who, who said that? Um, shadow of thy wings, 12 okay. tribes. All right. Um, 1 Peter 4 and hey, 6. Hey, Shalom, brother. Shalom. Hey, Shalom to all the brothers and the, the few sisters that's on the common board. Con, it says, um, for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to the Lord in spirit. That's a whole cut to Tupac. Mm -hmm. Only God can judge me. You know, he pushed that he pushed vibration out there. <laughs> you know, you gonna be judged by men in the flesh. You know, by men in the flesh. We have to make judgments every day. Um, King Solomon was considered a what? A wise judge. One of his first uh, tasks at the end was, you know, when he gave the decree to do what? To, uh, uh, to, to split the babies in half. One lady had slept on a baby and then, um, you know, she took, she did the old switcheroo. And she was like, that's my child. And King Solomon said, but what was he doing? He was being wise as a serpent. Because he wasn't going to cut the baby in half. He was yeah. That's murder, right? He wasn't going to kill her, but he wanted to see. Oh, yeah, uh, he had to yeah, scoot actually, to that level. Yeah, yeah. There's a um, 48 Laws of Power. I think it's Robert Greene. And one of his laws is, you know, basically, you got to play sucker to catch a sucker. Mm -hmm. So that's what King Solomon did. He applied that law of playing a, playing a sucker or playing like a, a wicked. And then he found out what? Who was, the truth. who was telling the truth, man? Mm -hmm. So you sometimes you got hey, the scriptures say lies but truth. Sometimes you gotta lie. You lie to your fucking boss. You know, you, if, if 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 the what's it called? Um, you gotta go to the the Passover. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna tell your boss? Hey, boss, I, I'm gonna hold the Passover. I, I, nah, you gonna tell him I came down with something? Yeah, I'm yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah you lying, saying. but you're true. You know, it doesn't matter what the hell you tell that damn demon. You know. Yeah. Oh, yes, Matthew 13 verse 11. Yep. The answer is of the dumb. Because it's given unto you to the to the dimensions of the kingdom of heaven, yeah. but to them it's not given. Yeah, to the rest of the world it ain't given. That's why you don't even bother with people in the world. You tell them once or twice, you don't beat yourself up because these niggas don't get it. Somebody gotta fulfill that prophecy of being put to death. Somebody gotta starve to death. Somebody gotta be misinformed. Somebody gotta fall to the race wars. You know, you just pray and hope that it's not you. But they ain't gonna get it. They ain't gonna understand. You can tell them not to take that jump shot, but they gonna take it. You could tell them, you could tell them to you blue in the face, man. They ain't gonna listen. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, 2nd Ezra 15 and 3. It says, Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their faith. Yeah, and that's the old man. I always believe deep down in my side, like deep down in my heart, that, you know, I didn't care because I know that they were gonna die any goddamn way. So they may make fun of you, laugh, make fun of you now, laugh at you, scoff at you now, but they gonna, they gonna die. They're going to die. Go ahead. You have a shot at life, man. Go ahead. Matthew 7 and 6, it says, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Yeah, it is. Neither cast ye your pearls before a swine. Yeah, you don't do that. Least they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Yeah, you don't, you know, who takes their diamonds and, you know, feed it to a fucking pig or put it on a pig? For what? You don't do that, man. They're dogs. The scriptures say, um... If you got a problem with your brother, you go to him face to face. If you don't listen to him, you get two or three witnesses. If you don't listen to the two or three witnesses, you pull before the church. And then if they don't listen to the church, you treat them what? As a heathen. What does the scripture refer to uh, 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 the heathens as? As dogs. When the scriptures say, when the scriptures talk about the kingdom of heaven, it talks about how there are no dogs in the gates, right? That's not talking about Lassie or, or Spot, you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about your pit bull. Those animals are still going to be on the earth. But it's talking about what? It's talking about the heathens. So even though they're in Israel, like, if they're conducting you teaching the word, or, or if they're your moms or your, your pops or whoever it is, you don't, you know, you honor your mom and your, your father. But what did Paul say? He said, for the, uh, for the truth's sake, they yeah. become our enemies, man. Right. They become our enemies. You wash your hands with them. Hey, but, and you mentioned in the kingdom, the, 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 the set of 12 gates, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. We keep the heathens out. But now the gates that are going to keep the Israelites out is the gates of the chariots, because the scriptures say what? It shut the shut the uh, uh, the, the doors yeah, of the chambers, and that's the gate that's going to be put up 
you know, for those uh, those those dogs, as the brother was saying. Oh, yeah, you know? absolutely. I probably mentioned too, going back to that precept about casting the pearls to the swine. Uh, you know, uh, so uh, uh, individual is not going to look at something valuable the same way you look at it. Yeah. It's like a, like a pig. He's not going to respect a pearl and know the value of it because yeah. he's a pig. Ooh. He doesn't look at it. Beautiful. Like that. Yeah. You know, Beautiful. So, yeah. Beautiful. And then, and that's heavy because when you look at this truth and how we perceive it to be, it's something that's precious. Wisdom is like a precious ointment to us, right? Um, um, like it's like the scriptures say, uh, wisdom and knowledge is better than gold. So, so, so a carnal man is looking at gold as if gold is everything, but we're looking at this truth. That's why the scriptures say, you're poor, but thou art rich. Rich with what? Rich with knowledge. So that knowledge that we we take, we take to heart. That person that's a pig or animal or dog. Yeah. Care about they got that. a definition that goes in Matthew 7 and 6 that word rent it means to tear into two or more pieces wrench or cause great emotional pain to a person or their heart yep. so they, they're never gonna they're never gonna believe what you're saying anyway they're mm -hmm. just gonna use it against you in some type of way yep. to, to shame on you or laugh at you or whatever just to back him up real quick yep. this is uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and verse 5 it says if riches be a possession to be desired mm -hmm. in this life what is richer than wisdom mm -hmm. that worketh all things what is in the scriptures that I always go back to how the scriptures say mm -hmm. He's going to make a man more precious, more precious than fine gold, man. Right. You always go back to that. Read that for me again, Baba Kajan. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 8, verse 5. It says, If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? Yeah, so it's letting you know that wisdom is better than gold, man. It's better than wealth. It's better than people see our notes. All right? It's better than anything tangible. All right? What, what, made, what made Solomon so great the heavenly father basically gave him the keys to anything he said i'll give you whatever your heart's desire whatever you want and what did king solomon ask for he asked for the uh, uh wisdom to be able to uh, judge such a great people you know yeah i got one real quick uh wisdom of solomon 6 verse uh, verse 21 if your delight be a throne and scepter or ye kings of the people on the wisdom that you may reign forevermore. Yeah, and that's what he that's 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 what he asked for. He asked for wisdom. And now what we're asking for is to do what? Is to reign forever, aren't we? Aren't we asking when you when you give your prayers, you beg to be the scripture says supplication, you beg to be part of the elect. You literally get on your heavenly father and you beg the heavenly father, please let me be part of your elect. Because you want to do what? You want you want to obtain that wisdom so that you could do what? You could rule forever. Because we know that the kingdom of heaven is forever. If your goal, your, your goal and your job is to get into the kingdom, you know that that, that dominion is forever. Uh, it's uh, wisdom of Solomon 6 verse 20. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom. Mm. You know? Yeah, the desire of wisdom bring it forth a kingdom. What's that? Second Ezra, the second chapter? When Heavenly Father, how is I? Um, what is it? We were setting crowns? When we were setting the crowns? Yep. Yeah, let's go to that real quick. This is what this thing is about. This thing is about power, man. Go ahead. Uh, second Ezra chapter 2, verse 42. No, ho we, okay. About yeah, the, um, the, the crowning? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Who, who was the, who was the? Yeah, you gotta go right here. You gotta go right here. Yeah, go 40. 40. All right, fine. Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 40. <laughs> yep. Take thy number, O Zion. And shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, yep. which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Yeah, the number as well, 144,000, 12,000 out of each tribe, along with the one-third, uh, which mainly will consist of what, women and children. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So that's the cream of the crop, man. Go ahead. The old fit to war. The creme de la creme. Uh, the number of thy children, whom thou longest for, yeah, that's fulfilled. Yeah, the heavenly, the high is longing for this number. And, and guess what? You, you brothers got you brothers has been entrusted with the task of fishing for that number, man. When you go on the highways and byways, when you teach your lessons, when you do your pushes, you're by yourself, or when two or three together are gathered and you, you uploading your video, you're fishing for that number, man. That number is out there, and you're part of that that search team, yeah. that search and rescue team, because what it, it referred to that lost sheep. When that lost sheep rescue. comes back, he, he, the heavenly father rejoice. You know, that, one, uh, that one coming back, man. So you're part of that team. So you should take pride in, in, in honor and in, in, in being um, trusted. And Lord will, you, you, you 
you stay to the end because that's the biggest thing is finishing. You know, starting it is the easy part, but the hardest part is finishing it. That's right. But go ahead. And the scripture says, endure to the end, yep. and the same shall be saved. You know? Yeah. Um, hey, and then the best part is the hunting. Yeah. At least for me. I, I, I don't know how you brothers feel, but it said first, uh, you sent for me fishes. And I and you said fish them, and after you sent for hunters. So you don't want to, how would you want to fish for a little bit and then give up? Right. You know, keep fishing and then finish the job, man. Right, and that's and that's when you're gonna take, you know, your your, your vengeance on, upon those that were uh, scoffing at yeah, you. Yeah, snickering at you. Right, so them, so them, so them, so them, them pigs that we were talking about, mm -hmm. them dogs we were talking about, that's when they're gonna, they're gonna yeah. wish that they had uh, adhered to uh, what you were saying. Yeah, what you were saying. Right? Yeah, that's right. The scripture yeah. says, to my people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So when all help be close, they're gonna be bowed down before you. They're gonna be, Want to inquire of what you do, what of, of what you have to say in that day? Then, then, then shall they know what my chosen. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a uh, so-called Christian that's been in the church sitting fifty-five years, yep. <laughs> and then you went and told him, you know that, that no, you're not gonna be raptured. No, you, you know that that you know salvation's not for everybody. No, and they they kept scolding back at you. And then when, when that day actually comes wow. and they figure and they realize that, right. that you and was pop, right and, and they've been wasting their time for 55 years, man, yeah. that's going to be a sight to behold, man. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them are going to die uh, clutching their heart, man. They give up the ghost, right? They're going to give up the ghost, mm -hmm. Yeah, because the disbelief that they have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ezekiel 33, verse 33. Yeah, real quick, just because the what two brothers just said. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Yeah, so that Christian, Peter, you know, they, they ain't gonna know. They gonna know that. They gonna know. Oh, the old oh, man, you know. <laughs> like, calling on Jesus Christ. <laughs> like he was right the whole time. Or, or better yet. Oh, and another thing is, y'all gonna know that the so called white man is the devil that your Bible speak of. Y'all gonna know. Y'all gonna know. Y'all gonna, it's a light bulb gonna go off. Y'all gonna be like, oh shit, this is the devil. The only, the only explanation you could come up with in your mind. Is that this is the devil, and that's Revelation 12 and 12 when he come down having great wrath. This, this is going to be no conclusion in your mind of who he is right, or what the devil is. Right, because their doctrine is that they they going to be raptured before the tribulation comes. Okay. Right, so when when I, you watch when that tribulation comes, man, when that when the right uh, food shortages <laughs> come out, yeah. and Esau says, "Nah, you can't you can't get no food unless you get this this uh, chip," yeah. you gonna see. Now yeah, they gonna yeah. be like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. Yeah. They gonna call him Pastor Paul Chuck. Pastor Porch up already taking the chip, you know, or, or, or you know, or, or he going to tell you what? Oh, well, I don't know what to tell you. We got nothing for you. That's sure. it. Well, it's a lot, it's a lot of uh, groups leading that uh, congregation. Yeah, that's why uh, Jeremiah, yeah. Jeremiah uh, 23rd chapter talks about what's going to happen to them, 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 them uh, pastors yeah, that the scattered the sheep of the Lord's flock. Leading a lot of leading a lot of Israelites down the drain, man. Yeah. and they got a lot of blood in their hands. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's like the language. Real quick, just to mention, uh, we started off with uh, Ezekiel the third chapter that we speak warn the wicked to get the blood off our hands. But like the brother mentioned, these other prophets or past so called pastors, they got a lot of blood in their hands, and the Lord's gonna seek them when the, um, the day comes, bro. Right? Okay. Okay. So go back to Second Ezra chapter two, verse uh, forty-one. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hollow. Hey, that's beseech means to be beg. To beg, man. Be begging Heavenly Father to be part of the elect, to seal the elect, to be able to give you the wisdom to teach the elect. You know? Go ahead, bro. Verse 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. Yeah, this is definitely like the graduation ceremony, man. This is definitely that it is finished moment this is definitely the crowds the clouds cracking open Crowned it. Uh, uh the elect being gathered together in the whole world because he's going to tell you i saw some were bounded some were shameful some were sorry everybody's going to see this when she say every eye shall see mm -hmm. y'all all, everybody's going to see the glorification of the elect those men that was accounted nothing those men that were losers that was uneducated that was bums that was dirty that was last that was slaves mm -hmm. you're going to see the them and they glory, man. Like when, you the, when you win a championship game. That's right. You know, when you look at the NBA, 
what, what happens? They win the championship, they get the trophy, but what happens? They have that parade right yeah. after. Yeah, that's right. Everybody gets to be involved. Yeah, in that's that's right. the same, same, same type I'm of thing. Yeah, yeah, I love to say that. Poppy champagne. Go ahead, bro. Um, second Ezra chapter 2, verse 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Sound a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. That's Yahweh Hamashiach from the world in because Jesus Christ, all right, our Lord and Savior, our great King, the King of Kings. All right. Go ahead. And, and everyone, I mean, and upon everyone of their uh, heads, he set crowns yeah. and was more exalted, which I marveled that greatly. Yeah, kings get crowns, man. And not only do kings get crowns, but kings get what? Dominion, man. Power. Kings get power. Oh, kings shit. get glory. Kings get subjects, kings get slaves, spoils kings get spoils, kings get gold, silver, you know, camels, that's wealth, you know, sheep, oxen, Substance. wine, land, rest, age wine, you know, the servants, best the, best the, best. the best of the best, man, damsels, you know, right. you're going to get a damsel, you know, right. son untouched, right. you know, go ahead, damsel quarrel, <laughs> she ain't going to be mad, man, she's going to be happy. She gonna, she gonna, she gonna love her sister wives. You know, they gonna do each other's nails and, and do each other's hair. And, you know, she take care of the house. Yeah, take care of the house. You know, they gonna be happy. She never gonna threaten on leaving you. She finds you another woman. She gonna embrace you. She gonna go into your cell phone. <laughs> shorty like, yo, I'm shorty like coming to America. Like I'm here to serve you. Yeah, I'm here to do yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you like? Yeah. Like? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I like the one. Con on the one. That's what yeah, you yeah. Con, con on the one. That's what you want to hear. No jokes, man. Con. Yeah, cause you women, man, you 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 women, man, you, you weren't uh, uh, built to make it. You know, you weren't you weren't built to make decisions or to even speak or have a say, man. It's any matter. Well, 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 well. The Heavenly you know? Father showed the world in which they yeah. do uh, they do speak and they do. And, and uh, look at that real the result. Yeah, There's a fucking yeah, ruckus. Look at fucking it. ruckus. Yeah. You got men. You know, you 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 got men going out there losing their wits just to try to please a woman, and, yeah, and in default, you well, got yeah. the whole world. Well, yeah, we ain't we ain't gonna get it. Either, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Look, 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 the water can't return. Oh, my boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy got like four scriptures. Verse 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? Yeah, what are these? Curiosity. All the prophets were curious, right? Yeah. And you think about it, that's that's like in our blood. We we all before, like, through the spirit, we say it humbly, but it seems like before we knew about the truth, we was always the ones that was always curious about certain things, yeah. dibbling, dabbling, and, you know, these Illuminati videos, or, curious. you know, it's curious just about the skies, and God, hey, we, you know, yeah. the, the pro that's, 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 that's it, yeah, that's it. That's a part of being a watchman. Yeah, exactly, you know? exactly. Like, when you, when you see something, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then the apostles taught us to look up words yeah. and go into the etymology of the word, and you find yourself, you find yourself looking up all these words and words that you normally you think that you know the definition of. You look at words, you find even more. You go into the synonyms, and if you got a woman, she do the same thing too. She'll tell you like, damn, why are you always looking up every? You look up every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? But. Studies, man. Studies, man. Look at as, as, as hell, 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 Question uh, everything. Everything. That's right. everything. That's right. Everything that's out there, man. Everything that's sacred. You got the great E, you know, the great, the, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the great deceiver. The devil. <laughs> but the word, the word scrutinize, the word scrutinize, um, the study means to scrutinize. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with scrutinizing. When you scrutinize the truth, it's going to come out pure. Yeah. It's just like yeah. when you scrutinize, in, 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 when, yeah, when you look at it bigger, it was the elect is being scrutinized. Yeah. But it's going to come out um, as Fine gold yeah. and a fire, man. Yeah. I got a piece of record, bro. I got a piece. Oh, I said, I get that real quick. Study to show yourself approved. Yeah, I think I have a piece of two to back you, bro. I got something to back you too. Go ahead, bro. Proverbs fourteen verse fifteen. The simple believe every word 
but the fruit it may look well to his going. Go ahead, bro. This is Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Yeah, we read that one, right? Yep. The Spirit yeah. wanted to come out yeah. again. Go ahead, Corral. This is 2 Timothy uh, 2 and 15. Yeah. Study to show thyself yeah. a fool yeah. unto Yahweh by Shemel Shah, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, right. rightly right. dividing the word of truth. God, rightly dividing, hey, discernment, you know, wisdom. Go ahead. This is from the common voice from my Yahweh Kana, also known as Sean Yasharala 5.0. Ecclesiastes 7 and 25, I applied mine heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. Wait, read that again, brother. Beautiful precept. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 25. I applied mine heart to yeah, know. The, what? Yeah, the heart, which is your mind. You find yourself in a bed just thinking about some weird shit. Yeah. To somebody, you'd be with it. you can't, you know what I'm saying? You really can't talk. You can't have conversations like you can have with your brothers, the people in the world. They're gonna think that you're weird, man. You know, this nigga crazy, man. Shouldn't you be thinking about and things that you talk about? You know, it's not the, it's not the wisdom of this world. Yeah, it is. And King Solomon said, "I incline my heart to know uh, certain things, man." Go ahead. And it says, "And to search and to seek out wisdom." Yeah, to search and to seek out, to look it up. I wonder what happens if you did this. Or yeah, I wonder what. Yeah. yeah, the Nixon, the, the, the what's it called, Nick, the Nixon Cran, Nixon, Nixon Cran, yeah, man. He was a real scientist. That was, <laughs> King Solomon was the, ori the original scientist. Yeah, that's right. That's oh, yeah. a real scientist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 ain't nothing new under the sun. He someone to call himself a, a scientist, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and he did it first. And you know, you want to take the the the, the, uh, the credit for everything, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I talked yeah. about that. Some who brings that scripture out? This crowd, you bring that scripture out, right? Um, in Wisdom of Solomon, where it talks about you know how he he, he inclined to know about astrology, the stars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, bro. Carl, can you speak in as a man? You have the Roman Catholic Church over there in Rome. They got so many documents that we don't see that could have been of King uh, Solomon. Oh, you know, yeah. astrology, you know, all this stuff. Yeah, and that's where they get their information back. from. We're gonna get everything that everything that's ours. We're gonna get them niggas still got wine since yeah. the Howard Child was on the scene. No <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> And we're gonna crack all that open. The scriptures say um, we're not. The Lord said He's not gonna drink again until, until He comes back right, right. to drink with the elect. You know. Right. Yeah, I got some just to line up with you. We were about to bring out uh, First John two and twenty. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Yes, yeah, know all things from the Holy One. Hey, even the secrets, even the secrets, even the mysteries, even the breakdown, the seal. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Oh, hold, hold that real yep. quick, bro. Give me what you got. This is wisdom of Solomon seven. I'm gonna start at verse uh, seventeen. Yep. He had given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely, to know how the world was made. Yeah, how the world was made because there are uh, intricate details on how this thing was put together, man. Huh. You know, we're going to get all that. Go ahead. And the operations of the elements. Yeah, the operations of the elements. How things work. What happens when you burn? Yeah. He burn H2O. It's, it's like chemistry. Yeah, That's what yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you freeze H2O, you get ice. You get a solid. When you burn it, you get a gas. Yeah, you get a look. You gonna, we going to know about everything, man. Everything. The rays that the sun uh, 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 let off. You know, from melanin to everything. To the way seeds are uh, 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 planted and watered and grown and Everything, every little detail, man. Go ahead. This is um, uh, verse 18. The beginning, ending, and midst of the time. Yep. The alterations of the turning of the sun. The alterations of the spinning of the sun, the way that sun rotates uh, around the earth. Go ahead. It's in the change of seasons, yep. the circuits of years, yep. and the position of stars, yep. the natures of living creatures. That's yes, astrology, but Esau wanted to tell you, talk about the Greeks. He wanted to, he wants to start everything out the oh, Greeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you know, tell you about uh, Hades and, you know, uh, Pluto and shit. Greek philosophers. Yeah. And, yeah. Get the hell out of here, he. Yeah. This was before the Greeks. Yeah, that's what he told the devil. Yeah. Go ahead. This was way before the Greeks. This is before the Babylonians. That's right. You damn devil. That's right. It says the natures of living creatures. But the world, these niggas are telling you about the Babylonians. They swear up and down that, oh, yeah, this, they took this from the old ancient Babylonian text and ancient Egypt and it's all American. this. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. all this bullshit, yeah. man. Wisdom come from yeah. Yashar Allah, dude. Yeah, that's right. What the hell are you talking about, man? That's Go ahead. Call it money, man. Yeah. Money for a reason. Y'all don't watch it. Adam had the same, uh, same thing from the beginning. Right, 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 right. right. You know about all this from the beginning. Adam was an Israelite. Israelite. That's right. All right. Go ahead. 
This is the natures of living creatures. I'm looking at him in Israel. I see James Coffins already. Yeah, it's a mystery. Yeah, they go. 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 Since the natures of living creatures, the furies of wild beasts, the violence of of winds. Well, hurricanes in, and you know, yeah. Esau will tell you when tornadoes oh, meets with the hot air, yeah. water temperature. Oh, you got it, bro. A whole bunch of vain babbling. Yeah, yeah. that's what got it is. Yeah. He said, he said, he's gonna rain. Yeah. Yeah. We got a 90% of rain, chance of rain. And yeah. Never come to say there's, there's our rain clouds out. We know it's gonna rain. Yeah, yeah if I may, the Lord has all kind of species of animals out there, and we only have seen a few of his work, you know what I'm saying? So, how much more the Lord has. It was up to himself, like in that day, so now we reveal it to us all, you know what I'm saying? The Heavenly yeah. Father got wild beasts with no. uh, eyes around it as throne that just worship him 24 7, you know? So even like the animals that Esau says is extinct, they're not extinct, they just put up. The yeah. most I yeah. know he had to reserve some of these animals because mm -hmm. he knows the yeah. right, you know? they have to come back. Man. Yeah. Yeah. In the, the, the depths of the ocean, see, that's yeah. why they keep searching. There's yeah. something that they yeah. never found, they, yeah. they never searched it out. Yeah. They can't have it. The yeah. Ark of the Covenant. The Lord had the Jeremiah uh, hand the Ark of the Covenant for that for 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 that for for the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Because the, he knows that if Esau would have his hand on it, you know the devil's gonna yeah, defile, uh, it. defile it. You know what I'm saying? It says, um, uh, "The violence of winds and the reasoning of men, the diversity of plants and the virtues of roots, and all such things are as are either secret or manifest that I know." Uh, uh, you got the bad time to find more? Okay, verse 21 again. It says, all such things as are either secret or manifest, them I know. Yeah, secret or manifest, man. Or there's things that are hidden and things that are in plain uh, sight. Daniel 1. Uh, Daniel 1, verse 1. In the third year of the reign of Joachim, king of Judah, King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, went to Jerusalem and besieged it. Yeah, so who was king? Who was Nebuchadnezzar the king of? Babylon. Babylon, right? So what was he inquiring? Or who was he inquiring? Or what was they inquiring? Go ahead, man. And I gotta stop that. Y'all gotta stop that. Oh, Babylon, you know? Oh, fucking Egypt, you hotel niggas, man. Y'all gotta stop that, man. <laughs> Go ahead. And the Lord gave Joachim, king of Judah, into his hand. We part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shinar. Yeah, part of the vessels. Who was the vessels? Who was the vessels, man? It was people, man. It was people. You have, you have uh, stole, carried my gold and my silver into your temples. That's talking about the people, man. That's talking about he. They had the elect, right? Um, was it? Is it when you say Daniel was part of the elect, man? It was a great prophet in Israel, man. Go ahead. It says uh. And the Lord gave Joachim, king of Judah, into his hand yep. with part of the vessels of the house of God. Yeah, the Lord gave him, gave, gave us. To the land of Shinar, to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his unit, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel, and of the king's seed, and of the princes. Children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning and knowledge and understanding, science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palaces. Yeah, so what was the first command of business? As soon as he knew that we got the children of Israel, he said, Yo, go grab the, the, best, the, the best of the best, the wisest, the astrologers, the carpenters, the, the people who had wisdom, and bring them here. So it was. It goes to show you that Slacky, bro. Like Esau didn't just go get no porch niggas over there in, in in Africa. He didn't just go. He didn't just go to anywhere in Africa and say I need people for labor. They searched us out in Africa, all right, and, and got the best of the best with who? The Israelites. You know what I'm saying? And if I may mention too, prime example of the, the inventions that Jake created in slavery. You know, Jake created it. Esau benefited off of it right. by making the pattern. Yeah. So to show you, it's the same. It's the same sentiment that happened back then with Nebuchadnezzar. Right. The scripture tell you how Egypt was made great, man. It was made great through who? Yeah. Yeah. Yashar Allah, man. And then, and then, and then it goes to show. You, it was crazy about that too. Is right after the Persian Empire, what did uh, Darius do? Darius did the same thing Nebuchadnezzar did. 
He said, yo, go get the children of Israel and get the best of the best and bring them here. So this is every empire, man. That's right. Every empire, you had that decree of the king and it, and it, and it was some dealings with uh, dealings with Yashallah, man. Yeah, we we kind of like stepped up the level of every empire that we stepped into, even here. Kind of, we did. We did, yeah, we, we did. did. Yeah. Um, what's that movie, uh, Seven Years a Slave? Solomon, Solomon 12, Northup, 12 years, 12 12 years, years a slave. Yeah, yeah, Solomon Northup, when he went over there, he found out how to move the, the cargo up the river swiftly. You know what I'm saying? They was like, oh, we never even thought of that. And they just gave him like congratulations, but then they said, get back to work, boy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't give a count on your labor, sir. Oh, they say that. Say that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, even, even so much as Nebuchadnezzar asked Daniel to discern his dream. Oh, yeah. That even, that's, that was heavy because that's, it was showing him the downfall of his empire. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah. the Most High gave that unto right. Daniel, and, that, and he probably his prophet sign yeah. is down for us. And, right. and it's true. Yep. And it's always, it's always to the uh, downfall of their own guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's always, it's always Moses going to Pharaoh, yeah. and Pharaoh getting his sorcerers and getting his musicians to, to do some work, and then, and then the, the, the Most High doing his work through his men, through yeah. Moses. That's always outshining them. You know what I'm saying? Always, it was before it was Daniel was who could interpret. It was that was an open invitation yeah, 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 yeah. to who could interpret. He's like, okay, tell me your dream. And he was like, nah, nigga, if I tell you the dream, you gonna make some shit up. You gotta tell me the dream, and then give me the interpretation. And what did Daniel do? So I got you. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord was working through Daniel. Showed up, showed up, showed up, and showed out. Yeah. Showed up. Yeah. Yeah. Showed out. Yeah. Yeah. Before then, you had Joseph in Egypt. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He was able to to to. Yes, yes, so the dream of of the of of yep. yep. of yep. family coming, and he got he got him out of trouble too, yes, right? Sir. Right? With the seven years of famine, the seven yeah. years of crushing. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh. who we are, man. We are each other. We're prophets, man. We're seers, man. We're special people. We are holy people. Yes, you know? Go ahead. Uh, then your one verse four. And Children. we believe that too, man. That's we right. believe that wholeheartedly. You know? Go ahead. Uh, then your one verse four. Children in whom was no blemish, but were favored. And skillful in our wisdom and cunning and knowledge and understanding signs and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's place, palace, in whom they might teach the learning in the tongue of the Chaldean. Yeah. Go ahead. This is from the common board from GMS Start from Scratch, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided to the nations the inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Yasharala. Keep on, bro. You got more than that. <laughs> yeah, 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 he only put 32 and 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, why don't we 32 and 8? Now we'll get it. Right, yeah, yeah. Now, um, Yahweh Shemashah made the children of Israel so special that our only downfall was us. Only way, only way we can fall is by us going and going, going off and breaking the laws as commandments. No other nation can take us down outside of that. You know what I'm saying? That shows you how special the Lord had made us. Yeah. And once again, we made other nations great. So how much more will we come back into the state and get back in order? We all about Shemel Shah. Good point. Good point. Good point. We are our own enemy, man. That's right. I got Go you ahead, right brother. here. This is Isaiah 42 and 8. It says, I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praises to graven images. Mm -hmm. And like your brother said, that's how we felt all the time, you know. He already gave us a strict commandment not to, you know, worship no other God but him. And in doing so, you know, when you read above Deuteronomy uh, 32 and above 15, it tells you all the, all the things that you will receive if you just stay in his path. Just like what the brother had read in Daniel, right, the first chapter, it says... Uh, uh, people with no blemish. Mm -hmm. Those people with no blemish was carried away into captivity. Mm -hmm. To show you, if something happened along the line, which was us going off. Yeah. Yeah, right. um, read, read the last part of Deuteronomy yep. 32. Deuteronomy 32 and 9. For the Lord's portion is his people. Mm -hmm. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. The lot of the Jacob, Yashala, Israel, right? the Prince of Power. Um, they, with our, 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 our bloodline all right, goes back to Yahweh, man. All right, so our inheritance is is, is the world, yeah. you know. Our heritage is the kingdom, and go back to Second Ezra, the second chapter, because this is it's coming back full circle into what we were talking about: yeah. wisdom, what we gonna do with it, how we gonna rule forever, you know. Who's our downfall, you know? What's our problem, right? The, the obstacles that we we face in in, in modern times, man. 
Go ahead. And how are we going to get through it? Yep. Uh, second Ezra uh, 2 and 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now they are crowned and receive palms. Yeah, we confess the names of Yahweh. It always goes back to Nate when I think of this scripture because they tell you some stupid shit like we don't know the name of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. But this is these be they mm -hmm. talking about past tense, yeah. right? These were the guys that confess the name of Yahweh while Yahweh shy, right? Go ahead, bro. Read that part for me again, real yeah, quick, so we can get some understanding. Yeah, they confess these, these it's like past tense. Right? Confess, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Uh, verse. 45, he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal right. and have confessed the name of the Most High. Yeah, confessed is definitely past yeah, tense, man. Confessed. Go, ahead. Yep. Go ahead. Now are they crowned and received palms. Yep. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them yep. and giveth them palms in their hands? Go ahead. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High. Whom they have confessed in the world. Yeah, we confess Yahweh Shai. We preach Yahweh Shai. We preach deliverance through Yahweh Shai. We preach that he's what? The Alpha and Omega. The first and the last. The only begotten of Yahweh. All right? And only one raised. All right? From the dead. From Yahweh. All right? That's right. We've confessed that, man. Second in command, man. That sacrificial lamb. We've confessed that he sees he's coming to flesh in, in uh, Adam. Isaac. He was that sacrificial lamb that, that Abraham was going to go sacrifice. Mm -hmm. and, a, and the Most High told him, don't do it. He asked himself, he said, Dad, where's the lamb? Are we going to go do a sacrifice? He said, where's the lamb? He said, don't worry. Our Father will provide it. Right? He was that lamb, man. He was that sacrificial lamb. All right? And that's a secret that the Heavenly Father has given to us. Right? Yeah, bro, bro, bro. That was a pre that account was a prelude to when Yahweh shot comes in the flesh. He was gonna be that sacrificial lamb for the nation of Israel. Well said. Absolutely. But the elect also Absolutely. Solomon was Yahweh shot, man. What does it say in um he said um money stripes? Dealing with money stripes, yep. And if 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 if, if he uh commits sin, mm -hmm. okay. um I will punish him uh, the rod of with the rod of men. Yeah. Right? Come on man. He was the wisest. He was the wisest person on earth, man. Go ahead. Come on. Uh, Second Ezra two and uh, forty seven. So he answered and said unto me, "It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world." And then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, "Go thy way. Go thy way, and tell my people what manner of things." And how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. Yeah, go basically go tell them about this future prophecy, man. Go tell them what uh, the glory that is to come. Because the disciples asked the same question. They said, look, Lord, we don't forsaken all that we had, family, you know. What are we going to get? And he said, y'all going to be what? Uh, sitting on the thrones, judging the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. You know, so he, 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 he got a glimpse of... What was to come, man? Right, right. I was coming, man. It's a power shift, and you could feel it. Yeah. You could feel it. It's, Jake don't even know what's going on, but they don't even. They're being primed up, all right. This because this world is dying off, man. Yeah. And there's a new world that's emerging because this one is just. We keep saying it. It's it slowly decaying. That's it's 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 the fashion of this world is passing away. Right. It's played out. It's ghetto. It don't that's work. Right. The system is broken. Yeah. It's unfair. It's not righteous. Right? It ain't it. All right? We look for a new world and a new heaven. We're in the world of righteousness, you know? That's the best payment. The best payment is when our bodies get changed in the blink of an eye, and we, we're not able to physically sin anymore because the wages of sin is what? Death. Death. So that means that you're not going to die no more. You're going to live forever. And that's the best payment you could possibly ask of the Heavenly Father, man. Yep. Not yep. to be able to sin anymore, man. And that's, that's what right. the last the last enemy that got to be conquered is. is what? Death. Yeah, who's yeah. death? Esau. Yeah. Esau. Behold, a, a red horse, man. Oh, and it said death and hell was cast into that lake of fire. fire. Yep. And that's what, hey, what the scripture say? Uh, that uh, death and hell followed everywhere he went. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yep. a revelation. Yeah. So, 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 we, we, you, you gonna, where you going to be? You're going to be bound up. Right. That's why your house shy is also um, to be worshipped, man, because he came after the order of Marchesa which means kings of king of righteousness. Mm -hmm. He's the only righteous person if that, that ever lived, man. All right, the only righteous being that ever was, man. He was that perfect lamb, you know. 
There's nobody else. There's nobody that could claim that title as as it, as it is now. You got to worship uh, somebody like that, man. You yeah, gotta, and, that, and that's why worship. he's the king of kings. Yeah, right, right. Like we could be, we could be doing is with Yahweh Shah underneath that order, but you know, we well, our our perfectness is only through him. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Our our perfectness is is just the faith that we have in him. Yeah. And what we still we still off. We still for a shot of the uh, shot of the glory, you know. But we'll be um, we'll be fought without uh, blame. Why? Because of him. But it, that was the exchange when he came as Adam. All right, what did he do? Because you read when Sunday school, I thought it was unfair. I'm like, yo, when I used to read the story of um, Adam. I used to be like, damn, why the hell we all gotta suffer? Cause Adam, yeah, why Adam? You know what I'm saying? But then when you get into the no. Then you said, damn, Yahweh Shai was Adam. So for that one man that committed a sin that made us all fall through that same one man through a sacrifice, he's going to make us all rise again, man. Yeah, sure. He rid right his wrongs. He rid right his wrongs. Mm -hmm. Just like for that fall, for that for his wrongs, we all fall. Mm -hmm. For his sacrifice, we all, we all rise, man. Right. And that's it right. comes back full, full circle. circle. But that's a mystery, man. They ain't gonna teach you that in Sunday school, you know? Yeah. Or or Salaki, if, if I may mention the first the first uh precept in the Bible is a mystery. Just the, the God, the Allah the the beginning. Yeah. So the beginning the heaven in yeah. Revelation is the yeah. toughest that's you a, know, yeah, it's, a, well, the, the beginning and the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's it. I wish the nigga said you see it said the heavens and the earth. But we was the universe. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to kill it? it? He said, what he said, what's it called? Uh, the Bible debunked. You know, in the beginning, oh, the heavens yeah. and earth, but where's the universe? What is that, Sarah Suicide? Nah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They go on TikTok. But like, it says that all you gotta do is look up the definition of heavens in that word universe will be there, man. So, nice try, but man. You, you and that goes back to what we said, so like, study to know all things or uh, study to show yeah, yourself approved yeah. and search things. Yeah. 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 Paul always said a great thing, nigga. That same, that same nigga had like million, what, million followers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's, called, he's accredited as wise. Bro. Yeah, he's wise. Oh, oh, he's still you wanted something. Nigga, you ain't wanted nothing, man. You don't want to nothing, man. Go ahead, bro. This is First Thessalonians four and sixteen. It says, "For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, yeah, and with yeah. the trump of the power, which is Yahweh, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And Yahweh shot. Yeah, read that again, bro. Yep. It's uh, First Thessalonians four and sixteen. It says, "For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven." Show. Yeah, descending is coming down. Man. Yeah, yeah. From heaven, it's talking about the, 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 the skies, man. The clouds are going to crack open, and y'all finna see the glory. Y'all finna see the power. Y'all going to feel that you were just a fucking man, man. You're going you gonna to bow down on your knees when that when that, when that, that cloud that clouds open up and you see them church. You're going to be forced to the ground, man. Where you going to go? You can go right to the ground, man. No matter how big you are, how tall you are, religion you are, you can go right to the ground, man. Go ahead, bro. This but, is what we're warning about. That's why the scriptures say the day of the people, you these people are waiting for the day of the Lord as if he's coming back. You know, to throw roses, but he ain't. Come back, come back with his hands open like. Oh, he said, I, he said, I won't, he said, I'm not going to beat you as a man. He talks about an angelic force literally out of this world, man. Out of this universe, man. Out of this planet, man. Go ahead. It says, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the power, Yahweh, and the dead in Yahweh shall, shall rise yeah, first. All, them, all those people that was... Put the death that was martyred. We always go into um, Revelation, the eleventh chapter, where it talks about um, where it talks about um, that dead body rising up. Can you imagine much more? Did, did, did you see in all these uh, uh, spirits and people that you put to death, man? I'm um, coming back. I'm on a, on a, They gonna the vengeance is gonna be on their mind, man. Karnak, you got the precept of Revelation that says, uh, "Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life." Yeah. Yeah. you coming yeah. back. Yeah. yeah, they gonna come. That's why if you get, if you as a brother, you get beheaded. Who cares? That just means you get to ride on the chariot. That's a guaranteed ticket. Yeah. You get to ride on the chariot back. You know. The scripture also says, "Too precious in the, in the sight of the Lord Yahweh are the death of his saints." So if you get put to death for the gospel, that, that's an honor. That's something to, to that's something you should take pride in. And this is how you put off the mortal 
uh, uh, thoughts. What do you say that? Second, as you read it all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just read it. Yep. He said those that put off the, uh, uh, the mortal and took on the immortal, uh, immortal roughly. Second Ezra 14 and 14, 14, 14 yeah. but one of our favorite scriptures. Second Ezra 14 verse 13. Yeah. Second Ezra 14 verse 13, it says, uh, now therefore, Second Ezra 13 verse 14, 14, 14, 13, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, Instead of side the thought that I'm most heavy onto thee, yeah, mortal thoughts. Um, it goes back to mortal that being mortal combat. Yeah. What you said is a fight to the death. Yeah, right? So when you go into a mortal combat, you 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 prepare to kill somebody or, or to be or killed, die. man. And when you touch this touch that uh, touch this plow, man, you know you you weigh your options, you know. And and being put to death could be uh, part of the territory, but you don't give a fuck. You don't give a. We don't care. We don't care, man. We, we are um, mankind is is, is a is a mortal. A man is a mortal because we we are children of death. You know we, we we die. You know what I'm saying. So you gotta put you gotta put on the um, basically the the angelic the the angelic uh, 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 mind frame. You yeah, know? we can't die, but some you of know? us will not die. Some yeah, of us yeah. will live forever. Yeah, That's yeah. How should I say? That shall be some moment we shall not take death. 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 Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 General, yeah, man in general, yeah, man in general, you know, die. That's, that's this the is a man. Not really. uh, First Thessalonians 4 and 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up yeah. together yeah. with them in the clouds yeah. to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. That's us being yeah. that's the elect being delivered yeah. and beamed up in those chariots. Yeah. Marriage, marriage, right pretty much, yeah, pretty marriage. Much, that's a joint too. Yeah, yeah pretty much the scriptures letting you know when your house shall come, there's gonna be some people that's not gonna die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right, because some people that's right, gonna be alive. But that's because you're gonna be transferred yeah. into an immortal body. That's right it, now, it. right now we're mortal bodies. But that but mortal. Yeah, that mortal body you know, yeah. you shed it off. And, and in the eye, you're gonna be transferred into an immortal body, which the body when it's immortal will never see corruption. Your house shall immortal. He doesn't die. You see, he's a First, yesterday, the last today. So when the Lord comes back and gets us in this chariot, our our mortal body, our, which is why a fleshly body, because the flesh sees corruption. Yep, yep. The flesh does see corruption. You see, the spirit doesn't see corruption, but that's why we that's why our bodies got to be transferred. Right. Because yeah, right. we were mortals now. There will be no need. There will no need to, to be transferred. Right? Right. Yeah. Even even um the prophet um who's it that was uh, uh, translated. Uh, uh, what's, what's the name? Elijah. 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 Elijah had to be translated, Enoch. which means that he Enoch. went from a mortal. Enoch. 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 Right. Which he means he, he went from a mortal body into an immortal body. Yes. You see, cast yes. So you gotta you gotta cast, which means you gotta put off the the manly thoughts. You see, you, 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 you as a man, as a man, you, 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 uh, whenever you see hardship or whatever, you, 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 cringe, you, you cringe and shit. Because why? Because you're scared of what? Of, of something that's imminent, which is death. You're scared of death. It's yeah. death. Yeah. death. Yeah. But when you're immortal, you don't fear anything. You're fearless because you, you never die. The scriptures say that you know? always shall conquer death. Death, yeah. right. Yeah. So you can, can, you can fear, you don't know fear. You know, you know, you only know fear because you know death. If you didn't know death, you know, you know no fear. Mm -hmm. And what, you see? what we learning now. You know, what we're practicing is that that mind state. You know, to shed these mortal coils. Right, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. When, when you have that in your yeah. head, you're not entangled with that's, but, yeah. but that's, that's what, what, what it makes us so right. different. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, that makes us so different. Like you have conversations with people in the world, and they be bugging out. That woman's always trying to tell me, oh, something that, like you know what I mean. He's like, hey, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, like you don't care, but death is not like something that's like a big deal to you, man. Yeah, yeah. It's shocking to you. Oh, well, you was in the world again, bone yeah. thugs and harmony. Yeah, I don't know what to die. die. Yeah, somebody yeah. tell me what y'all. Yeah, that's really wondering, <laughs> wondering why we die. You, we die because we live. Yeah, yeah, you know, part of life. Yeah. yeah, it's a part of life, man. And that's you wondered you if that nigga was gonna show up. In the video, now it's a dude to come and get you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, that, but that's the that's the balance. <laughs> that's the balance. Yeah, you know, that's the balance. Yeah. And the only way, the only way Yahweh Shai can be magnified, right? Because who who gives the glory to Yahweh Shai's man and his creation? His creation is what glorifies him. So we need to we need to understand what death is. We need to understand how precious life is. You see what I'm saying? In order to give him the glory. When he transforms us into this a uh, 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 body that's that that incorruptible. Wants to, it, that is incorruptible, and 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 it's going. What I what I wanted to go was that you need to pray to have that Maccabean spirit because yeah. people in the ancient times 
they understood what uh, uh, what the cycle of life was. You see, people yeah. understood reincarnation. They understood uh, 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 the power of Yahweh Bashem mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah. Go ahead, bro. You I was going to say, and that's a mystery as well. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah. understanding uh, uh, life and death, man. Right. You yeah. know, and knowing that the Lord is going to bring you back. Right. Right. You know, right. you know what I'm but saying? it's easy. Yeah. It's easy when all things is good, right? Mm -hmm. To say, yeah, I'm wrong. You know, he saw getting me out. I'm good. I, I, I don't give a fuck about my life. Look, and, and 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 Peter was made an example for that. He was the cornerstone, the cornerstone of the church. But the Lord, the Heavenly Father, uh, uh, had it worked out that Peter became that example of what not to do, not, not to boast yourself like that. Yeah. You know, we pray for a Maccabean spirit, man, all the time, man. Hey, uh, yeah, no. get, that, get that out the combo. GMS no. start from scratch. The back and the back. Come, um, GMS start from scratch. First Corinthians 15 and 53. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, incorruption right? and this mortal must put on immortality. Mm, right. Yeah, and it's, it's starting right now, man. It's starting with a, a mind frame of a, word, a, a, word. a thought like we always go into, man. At first it's a thought. Yeah, it's a thought. It's something we're seeing, right? We're seeing it. And that vibration is being pushed out. And guess what, man? You're going to have a bunch of Nat Turner's, man. People speaking are, it to existence. Yeah, speaking it into it. It's a real thing, yeah. man. This yeah. world was framed off of speaking, yeah. literally yeah. speaking it into existence, man. And that's your how. Yep, the world become flesh. Yep, that's your how. That's the main source, man. That's the source, man. That's the flow. That's the flow. That's the beat. That yeah. Go ahead, Yakalim. Comments is two from um, Yahara's uh, Judah Yasharala, Wisdom of Solomon one and fifteen. For righteousness is um immortal. Then the other one is Proverbs twelve and twenty eight. In the way of righteousness is life. And in the pathway thereof, there is no death. Yeah. yeah. These are the things that we gotta know. These are the things that we didn't know. And guess what? When we didn't know them, where were we? We were dead. We were what? We were zombies. It was the uh, valley of shadow of death, the valley of dry bones. Right? We had no life. And what's life? Going into what? The knowledge in the scriptures. You know? But now we are what? We are quickened, right? Through the spirit, man. I got one real quick. Go ahead. Uh, second Ezra 14, verse 25. For after death shall, we, shall the judgment come when we shall live again. And, and, shall the, it says, uh, and then shall the name of the righteous be manifest in the works of the ungodly shall be declared. Yeah, reincarnation. You, we, you, 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 you pay for the sins that you committed in your previous time. And Jacob could say that to like, damn, I'm, I'm, I got a fucked up life, but I must have this some messed in it. I must have did some type of evil in the past life. Or they say a deja vu or something like that. You come, you die, you come back into the flesh to serve out your judgment. Or, or, or your main part. Because you reference part. You said, my only fear of death is what? You <laughs> God, <man. laughs> Incarnated. But that, that contradicts what he said because he said, what? Only God can judge me. Right? Well, you're going to go up there, all right? The, the Lord's going to judge you, all right? You're going to come back and you're going to serve the judgment. Well, you gotta, That's but, it. Because judgment is played out earth. Yeah, and you, and judgment is played out in the flesh. You think you're going to be in the spirit getting whipped? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> then, then what's the difference between life and death? If when you're alive, there is no. you, you, feel, you know, if you're alive, you feel and then, you know, uh, uh, when you go into the spirit world, you know, you're a spirit that's a spirit you feel. There's got to be a difference, right? Yeah. And that's a clean cut of them so-called Christian with the hell doctor, yep. man. Yep. It's just straight out madness, man. Right. You should say yeah. uh, death and hell was well, cast, cast into the lake of fire, fire, but the Christian to tell you that hell is a place where you go to burn yeah. forever for your yeah. sins. Yeah. That's yeah. confusion, yeah. man. Yeah. You meant to tell me. Even the Lord, even the Lord, when he replied to what the Pharisee, he said, you err not knowing the scriptures, mm. but, you know, when you, when the angels neither are given in marriage, or, or married because that's when you go up there it's a it's, it's spiritual you know you don't do things of the flesh yeah they don't eat they don't, yeah, they don't, eat. They don't you know what I'm saying sure, sure. go ahead yeah. I got second Corinthians 5 and 10 for we for we must all appear before the, the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai that everyone may receive the thing done in, in his body according to that which he had done what are they good or bad? Yeah, go ahead, bro. That's, this is second up what we just said. Uh, second Maccabees seven, and uh, I'm just gonna go to the to the end result. Yep. And twenty eight, it says, "I beseech thee, my son, look upon the heaven and the earth and all that is therein, and consider that the power Yahweh made them of things that were not." And so was mankind made likewise. Were you, were you reading too? I know you wanted to get to yeah, the yeah. point. Yeah, I'm getting to the point right I, here. I know it. Let me 29. see. 29. 
Yeah. Okay. So it's not this yeah, tournament. That's a hard chapter. Yeah. yeah. You get cut to the, you yeah. cut to the middle of the scene. <laughs> I know, right? You know, you, I could have you read it. We could you, close you want out me on to that. read that? If you want to, yeah. yeah. Because it, it, you read it, bro, and then we'll close out. We'll close okay. out on that, bro. That's yeah. That's like you know what I'm saying. Get to that's the peak of the movie. Then, mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I, I started from the top. This is our second Maccabees 7 and 1. It says, It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh and were tormented with scourges and whips. But one of them that spake first said, Thus, what wouldest thou ask or learn of us? What the hell you want from me? Go ahead. We are ready to die rather than to transgress the laws of our father. Yeah, they was wrapped up in the spirit. They said we ready to die than to transgress the laws of our fathers. And you niggas eat, yeah. the, to eat pork willingly. Yeah. That's madness, man. Think about that next time you eat a fucking bacon. Uh, yeah, bacon eater. You know, our, our, there, was, there were men in your, in your nation that, that was of your seed that knew that was unlawful and they would rather be, not just die, but they'd rather be tortured than to taste that, man. Go ahead, bro. Then the king, being enraged, commanded pens, 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 and cauldrons to be made hot. Yeah, as you saw. Go yeah. ahead. Doing something weird. Yeah, wicked. <laughs> yeah. Which for which being heated, he commanded to cut out the tongue of him that spake first, yeah. and to cut off the uttermost parts of his body. Yeah, basically skinned alive, cut off his tongue, and he skinned him alive. Go ahead. The rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. Yeah, go ahead. Now when he was thus maimed and all his members. Yeah, maimed all his members. Like, you know, when you got to. Yeah, go to the shot. Yeah, go ahead. He commanded him being yet alive to be brought to the fire and to be fried in the pan. Yep. And as the vapor of the pan was for a good space dispersed, they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully, yeah, saying that? thus. Yeah. You see such a thing, and y'all like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? He went out like a man, you know? They exhorted one another. When I read this story, I I, I cringe, right, like, just right. imagining that, man. But it, it, it is a testament to how how degraded as a nation we are. Look look at the integrity these men had right. to go through that now, and you look at the generation of today, how degenerate mm -hmm. they are, man. It's, 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 it's crazy how low... You know, we scoop, we scoop, we scoop down. That's what the scriptures say that the um that the angels which were falling from heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because we we we, yeah, we, we fell, man. Yeah. We fell, man, yeah, so right. badly, man. Yeah. Look at the integrity the men yeah. had, man. That's story, man. I cried. Yeah, they took pride yeah. in, in what they worship. Yeah, yeah how about See, he was named, and then, and then after they chopped his limbs, they, they wanted to fry him up. That's hey, man. Yeah, they still, they still, they still, still commended one. They still yeah. was dapping each other up. You know, the spirit was heavy on them. No, they, they followed they followed the, the ways of their father. The father mm. in first Maccabees he told him, When you dying, don't give up on what the Lord said. And he said, Hold hold did to what was your forefather, which was the ancestors. Said, um, make a name for yourself. Yeah. 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 Take pride and make a name for yourself. Right? It, says, it says in verse six, the Lord power looketh upon us and in truth. Have comfort in us, as Moses and his son, which witnessed to their faces, declared, saying, "And he shall be com comforted in his servants." So when the first was dead, after this manner they brought the second to make him a mocking stock. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head with their with the hair, they asked him, "Wilt thou eat before thou be punished throughout every member of thy body?" But he answered in his own language and said no. So he answered them back in Hebrew. That's it. He said no. Wherefore he also received the next torment in order as the former did. And when he was at the last gasp, he said, Thou like a fury takest us out of this present life. But the king of the world shall raise us up, who have died for his laws unto everlasting life. After him was the third made in mocking stock, and when he was required, he put out his tongue, and that right soon holding forth his hands manfully. Yeah, he put out his tongue. He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't got nothing to say, you chump. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking it myself. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. And said courageously, these I had from heaven. Yeah. 
and for his loss I despised them, and for him I hope to receive them again. And you know what the Lord said is better to go uh, in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of heaven, yeah, yeah. Main, main, than it is to go into your whole body um, into to, to be burnt up. Yeah. So he said, basically, uh, what the hell? What are my hands, man? My hands I got from the heavenly Father. He can give them back. Yeah, yeah, you want to give them back to me. Yeah, and that goes with that scripture real quick. Uh, fear not him that can kill the body, but fear Yahweh who can yeah. kill the body. And so you gonna now. tell him? You gonna yeah. tell him? Yeah. Go ahead, Yakalam. Give, give me, give me, give me what you got real quick. Yeah, I got it right here. Matthew yeah, ten and twenty eight. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Go ahead, bro. Verse twelve. In so much that the king. And they that were with him marveled at the young man's courage. Yeah, they, they had to marvel at it. They was like, damn, man. Yeah, I can't break these guys. I'm torturing them. I'm doing the, the most wicked, vilest shit ever. You know? It was the fast and movable. And that was, that was Antiochus IV. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the, the worst demon out of them all, man. But can, can you imagine that, though? That, like be the king and nobody's terrified of you. Yeah, right. like, yeah, true. But that's an Esau. Yeah. Esau was like enraged, face was all ah, red. Ah, the fucking nigga. This <laughs> is the devil coming out having his wrath. Quit wrath. Yeah, it's real time. Yeah. You know that people ain't, ain't hearing it. They're trying to obey his rules. He said, for that he nothing regarded the pains. Yeah. Now when this man was dead also, they tormented and mangled the fourth in like manner. So when he was ready to die, he said thus, it is good being put to death by men <laughs> to look for hope from the power, Yahweh, to be raised up again by him. That's right. As for thee, thou shalt have no resurrection to life. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're going to get resurrected to not life because he's talking about that life. You know what I mean? Living that life. You're gonna get resurrected to fucking slavery. You're gonna get resurrected to, to slavery, boy. Yeah, the state that we're in right now, because we're not living. We're just right. existing. Right. And right. you're gonna hate that, Esau. You're oh, gonna hate too. Yeah. 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 That's it. Afterwards, they brought the fifth also and mangled him. They looked he onto the king and said, Thou hast power over men, thou art corruptible, thou doest what thy will. Yet think not that our nation is forsaken of the power, Yahweh, but abide a while, and behold his great power, he will torment thee and thy seed. That's, That's, right. That's coming. What? It's slavery. Uh, That's uh, slavery. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Payback. Yeah. Meditating yeah. terror. Meditating terror. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, revelation. Yeah. 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 of shit on Esau. Yeah. Yeah. That's so that. The accumulation goes back. Woo! Oh, yeah. Years, <laughs> man. You got a tab to pay, man. Yeah, you're going to be running with, with you all the time. And yeah. then, you, then you came back as the Romans. Yeah. You fucked us up some more. Yeah. Then yeah. You, we you took y'all down. Y'all, the deadly wound was healed up. Y'all came back in the Renaissance era to rebirth. Woo! Yeah. And then another fucking hoorah. Yeah. Slavery, buck breaking, redlining, uh, seg uh, 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 black codes. Cool. Um, uh, Jim Crow, uh, Willie Lynch, uh, mass incarceration, the Thirteenth Amendment, yeah. police shootings, hangings, smallpox, smallpox vaccines, vaccine. You, you just keep fucking going. You keep building up the tab, man. You just keep building up the tab. Yeah. You, know? the tab. you know? If I mean, those are the ones that we know. What happened to the ones that we know? It is nah, like this is things we getting stuff on tape now on phones. Yeah. Well, and who knows what you was doing in the 18th yeah, century? What's that? The Devil's Punch Bowl? Yeah. Baseball, the baseball. Yeah. 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 What is it? The, uh, the baseball game? Yeah. Throwing balls? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All the babies for our, for our cats to crack the day. Yeah. 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 Torturing us. Sex slave, uh, sex shop, sex slavery. Black market. Oh, um. It's actually, you remind me, um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Black Friday. We're going to have sales for you. Yeah, we're going to have sales. Yep. Yeah. Black Friday sale. You can call it fucking yeah, man. Oh, sex trafficking. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Human, you human, like six hundred thousand so-called black women missing in America alone. Yeah. This oh. one Edomite bitch goes missing. Oh, you guys yeah, lose yeah, your yeah, goddamn yeah. mind, man. Yeah, all over the place. Yeah, all you lose your mind. She's oh, all over, but some Tito, Tito, Tito. Oh, um, down at the border. Yeah, Alex Jones go down there, and we know that y'all doing it. Yeah. All, there's all these children gone missing. You know. Uh, Ishakite children primarily down at the border. Nobody knows where the hell they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go to a Walmart. Go to your local Walmart. You're going to see a bunch of children that's missing. 
Yeah, you went to no child point. sacrificing, mm. molesting child, raping child. Oh, Epstein. R. Kelly's yeah, the worst yeah. thing smoking, but Epstein, Epstein, Epstein Island. Look at all those people that's on Epstein Island. Woody Allen. You just, Woody Allen. You just had this, the guy in... Um, the Weinstein. Um, the guy, Weinstein, Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein. You had the guy that was the CEO of Disney. Got yeah. caught with all that kitty pun. They gave him seven years. Oh, he was the CEO of Disney. Walt Disney. Imagine, Walt Disney. imagine what he was doing to all them children, man. Yeah. The Disney kids. You know, the casting couch. Bill, uh, 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 Pizzagate. Joe Biden. Right there in front of your face. Sniffing little girls. Yeah. Touching little girls. You know? That's what you do. And you know what? We so happy that we know that you do these things. We ain't out here trying to prove. We ain't going to have a, a, a jury of 12 Edomites to decide your fate. The Heavenly Father knows everything, man. You ass is guilty. Yeah. You know, we don't need to, we don't need to convince you of anything. You know what the fuck you doing, man. That's right. You got and, the real judges on you now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the real trial right here, man. Not no Supreme Court or the Federal Court or your local district court with your Edomites and your fucked up legislation and your congressmen and your senators. Not none of that shit. All right. You know, when the judge, they say all rise, but when the real judge come, y'all all going there. That's it. That's how you know you fraudulent. I don't care. I'll get up. I used to be want to be arrogant. Not. I'll get up. But when the real judges come, you gonna bow, bow man. Bow, you gonna bow. We ain't gonna be in no black robes, all just in dark. We gonna be in white apparel, like the scriptures say, man. That's right. That's right. What the hell are you talking yeah. about? Because yeah. uh, black, black means uh, void of light and understanding. Yeah. Wickedness. Oh, wickedness. a profane yeah. void of judgment. Yeah. Oh, it's a reprobate. You're void of judgment. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you caught follow your own yeah. laws. That's why a, a molester gets seven years in prison. But somebody that got caught with weed will get more time than that, you know? Uh, yeah, the scriptures say if you are um, molested or uh, uh, low, especially low boy, you gotta be put to death. That's, that's it. There's only one, there's one penalty. There's nothing to argue about. <laughs> and it needs to be in public so everybody can see. Yeah, yeah. Run for me. That's right. Go ahead. We'll Second Mac could be 7, 8. Oh, you got more, bro? On that? I just, you want me to go down to. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's cool, bro. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't go ahead. Go ahead. This is what, corrupt. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and verse 1 it says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hands of Yahweh Bashim El Shah, and there shall no torment touch them. And the sight of, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and the departure is taken from misery, and they're going from misery to be utter destruction. But they are in peace, but though they be punished in the sight of men, yet their hope full of. Uh, yet is their hope full of immortality. Having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Yahweh Shemel shall prove them and found them worthy for himself. Yes, right. So that's that's what's going to happen in the end thereof. You know, we're going to come back in those glorious bodies. You got more? I got more. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna do the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. Verse six. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. That's right. That's right. That's right, bro. Hey. Go ahead, bro. You got it. So with that, we want to say all praises due to Yahweh. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity. With that, we want to say a bar the ball. A bar the ball. Shalom. 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 Shalom.